Hello everybody, I am Brightman19 and welcome to a brand new campaign in Empire Total War. This one's going to be on Poland, Lithuania. So let's go ahead and take a look at these guys. Poland is an old idea in an old kingdom. Like anything old, it has old en enemies and problems. The problems and enmities are those of any state surrounded by ambitious rivals, all of whom are looking to become a stronger at someone else's expense. Sweden's ambitions to create an empire around the Baltic. Tsar Peter's desires to make Russia a great European power to rival the style of Bourbon France. The Austrians and Prussians, each seeking to find a greater Germany and secure their borders. Even the distant Ottomans have to be considered, should they ever launch a new assault on Christian Europe. And in the middle of all this, a Polish-Lithuanian state that is not under the control of a single strong ruler a man who can impose his will to defend his people. Instead, Poland is something altogether stranger, a land where the people have a say in government. That the country has survived it all is a tribute to the spirit of its people, and yet these rivalries could be turned to advantage. A Polish leader who picked his alliances carefully, and his wars equally so, could do much to make his country great. The Russians have no divine right to dominate the steppes or the Swedes to control the Baltic. The various German states need allies, the same as other nations, and cannot expect to have take anything they want without a struggle. A clever Polish leader could make much of the situation if he could manage the hopes, expectations, and fears of his people at home. Cool, so of course we'll be doing a long campaign. Uh, with victory conditions are to hold, of course, 25 regions, as well as Belarus, Volhynia, Galicia, and Podolia. Brandenburg, Poland, Lithuania, Rumelia, Sweden, Austria. This looks like we'll be going either we'll be going north, west, southwest, and south. That seems to be the general direction of our expansion. Um, obviously nothing east. I think that's because we start allied with Russia, which is a great thing, of course. Um, starting regions, we have five. Of course, we're playing a medium ba uh, campaign and battle difficulty, as always. And... Uh, I have never played as Poland Lithuania. I've always seen them on the map. Uh, generally, within 20 years, they're super powerful, you know, with me having always either knocked out Prussia or Austria or even knocking on the Ottomans a bit. Poland Lithuania has always taken advantage of that, and I've had to fight them usually later on. But I've never had to, you know, and they've always been strong, but I've never really noticed them at the start of the game. So I have no clue what they start as. I just know they have the potential to be great. So, in a way, this thing kind of made me feel like, you know, well, let's make Poland great again, I guess. I don't know. Or maybe Poland can into space. I don't know. It felt, it gave me a little bit of a, let's, you know, you know, it, ambition to maybe make Poland way better than it should be. So, let's get in there and start it off. Your first priority should be to keep the fragile Commonwealth together. There are many threats to its security from all sides. Prussia has imperial ambitions and desires to connect its fractured territory. Sweden and Russia are squaring up for war, while the Austrian Empire already controls much of the region and may expand eastward. It is unlikely that the territories of Poland-Lithuania will survive entirely unscathed, and your borders must be well defended. Polish territory is also under threat from the south. Galicia and Podolia borders the Crimea, Belarus and Volhynia borders Russia. The Ottoman Empire may renew their quest for a greater European foothold. If so, there will inevitably be clashes with both Russia and Austria, so a wily national leader could secure a black seaport from the Crimea. This would give Poland a clear line of trade to the Baltic and make it considerably richer in the process. It would also be sensible to ally with larger nations that may be able to assist Poland should her immediate neighbors attack. France, Britain, and Sweden are good candidates for trade and alliance partners. Okay then, all right, so we got a little bit there. Not a whole heck of a lot, but a little bit to work with. So of course they're pointing out that we have a, t we have a lot of potential for expansion in this general region. Um, which we definitely want to do. We also need to go this way, but I don't think they're really that big of a problem right now. Um, Sweden's definitely could be a problem, but you know we have the court, we have Courland up here, and we also have a protectorate here in Saxony, so not too worried about them. Check the rest of our relations 
course, like I said, Protectorates with Corland here and with Saxony, who's right here in Dresden. Um, we are allied with Denmark. Okay, that's pretty good. So Sweden attacks them. We'll be ready. Also, they own this, so that might be something interesting. Um, and also with Russia. So Sweden will attack one of the two of those eventually. Let's just hope. It's Sweden doing the attacking, or it, does, it takes a long time when they do. We're already at war with the Barbary states and pirates like everybody else. And our trade partners are Russia, Prussia, and Courland. We're, at, we're, we're trade partners with Prussia at the start. Okay. Austria. Uh, let's see if we can go and get a trade agreement with you. There you go. Glad to see that. Um, me and Connaught's down there. Okay. We might be able to try to become friends with Austria early, which would be a good idea. We need as much trade as we can get. Let's take a look at our armies. Uh, that's pretty... Yeah, that's pretty lackluster. Let's go ahead and push back over here. Um, You, again, more lackluster. What do you have? More lackluster. I'm just moving some guys into some defensible positions. Nothing too big. Um... You and you. You know, they were talking about taking over Crimea and, gra and gathering this port. Which is very important, because as you can see, I don't have a port up here in West Prussia. So I really have no trade, uh, except for who I border. It'd be a great idea to tr start trading with like a Great Britain or something. Or France, who's far away. So that might be what I do. In fact, let's go ahead and start working on getting some stuff done. Um... Let's see, governor's residence. Governor's residence. Let's do that one. Can this be done? Nope, okay. Um, and opera house. And opera house. Let's go ahead and start getting those, trying to work our way into uh, better schools and such. I'll start with, hmm. We know I love going down these rolls over here first, but I think I've learned my lesson now that we're going to be going in the philosophy lines first from here on out. Let's take this guy. Um, I don't want to move you and do you, make you do anything that could make anybody mad right now. Um, we will be going to war. We're going to go to war with Crimea. That, we're definitely going to do that. It's going to take a while for the the Russians can deal with the armies over here. I'm going to be pushing for this hard. Um, we definitely don't want to bring our army down any. Let's take you to there. We have no more money left. Cool, let's go ahead and I think... Can I do anything else? The Ottoman Empire is hostile to us. They're about to be even more hostile because I'm about to attack one of their protectorates. Hmm. Sweden, I'd love not to be at war with each other. That our alliance with Russia is doing that though. Trade partners with Great Britain. They start trade partners with Great Britain and France. Lucky them. Um, Prestige-wise, where do we start? Fairly low. <laughs> we start second or third to last. Well, we'll just have to change that. Let's go and end the turn. Let's see what happens in this first turn. Ooh. West Prussia and Galicia, which are two places I definitely don't want to trade off, or Silesia and indefinite military access. No, I don't think so. Let me look at these regions real quick. They want to trade. What mine West Prussia for Silesia? I'm not going to give you Galicia. No way. Is 
there anything else that would be... That's a good deal. Oh, he agreed, so we just changed some locations there. I wonder what Austria will do. It looks like they're... Oh, they're going to have to go straight through Saxony to get to... Uh-oh. <laughs> looks like we might be going to war a little bit sooner. Prussia has attacked West Prussia just then. That's new. I haven't really ever sold or traded regions before, so... Uh-oh. Are these guys going to stare each other down over the borders? Or are they going to try to fight through to each other elsewhere? Let's see. War declared. United provinces in Spain. Russia and Austria. Sweden and Russia. So the, the wars I thought would start have started. As you can see, though, he just went right across to West Prussia. They got an ally united on the Baltic a little bit. See, they got to go through Saxony to get to the other one. I'm going to work with Austria here. I'm going to give... We're, we're going to offer each other indefinite military access. But... Oh, there's no technology worth it. Um, I wonder if I could give him... Like, work with... You give me Transylvania, I'll give you military access. I don't think this is going to work. <laughs> did I do it? No, I didn't even think I... Did that get proposed? In response, I want that. Nope, okay. I was like, well, maybe we could work something out. I could get me a little extra right here. <laughs> I mean, we'd barely be bordering. I mean, we'd just be bordering. That'd be all it was. Okay. Um, declare war. Not calling any allies in. Going to war against the Ottomans. Let's roll. We're going to be one more turn. I don't know if they're going to be ahead of us or not. Hopefully, they're going to just sit here. Or the Crimeans will come out to him. I want to try to grab that really badly. Um... Let's see, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and turn policies on for taxes and construction. It's not a bad idea. Um, government buildings are always a great thing to do. Can't do that one though. Increase infrastructure in our central region. Now, I could see Prussia declare war on Saxony. If they do, I might just have to give Saxony up and come back for it later on when it's my own territory. So let's see what happens. My other, my, you know, my allies aren't going to be happy with that move. Austria didn't do it. Prussia didn't do it either. The Russians went back into Kiev and came back out with more army. That's fine. We can handle that. The Crimeans came to me. Okay, so 549 versus 309. I wish they would have gone up and attacked the Russians, though. That's okay. We'll, we'll deal with this battle. Hopefully we can push them back and I can continue onward. Alright, we look good. in this. Let's go here. Send these 45. Not 
not being too overzealous, I don't think. Cossack infantry, Cossack infantry, Cossacks. <laughs> really would like to pile in on that infantry, but I don't think that's going to happen. Fast forward it. There you go. Make them pike walls. Ready. Let's try to flank him. There's our general's bodyguard back there. Broken already. Hopefully gonna... There we go. Traveled right into the side of him there. Flanking him. Hold fire. You will hold fire too. Let's see what comes out of this. Broke another one. It's Kosick Infantry. In fact, you could shoot those infantry down if you'd like. They'd be less of a problem later. Yep, there they all go. Broken, broken. I think we did good. Really well. Probably lost about 30 men. In the battle, heroic victory. We lost 60. They lost 295. Killed their whole army. That should put some... Take the wind out of their sails. On to... An undefended, pretty much. Uh, 489. Really... Surrender refused. Let's assault it. We have no better thing to do. I have no artillery or nothing. This is... I could have wait. I could have sieged and waited a turn and see if maybe I get them to come out or something like that, but I don't think it would have happened. We gotta get this before the Russians get it. Populous, armed populous, armed populous, armed populous, more armed populous. So in a way, I could kind of sit back. A lot of it doesn't like their firelock. That Cossack infantry is, of course. Yeah, they kept their firelock back. This will be interesting. Get rid of their uh, armed populous that are orders. Our, our men offhand are going to be better. Toggle the wall. Are they going to move up any more over here? I don't know. I'll move up just a little bit. We'll see what happens. Yeah. 
You can move up. Brought them up. I like to leave my uh, horse as best I can in the back. That way I can come around and attack these guys from the rear. Their firelock is pretty much nothing. Position. Go ahead and run into run up there to position. We'll see if these militia can wear like wear them down a little bit. Oh, there they all are. Get that pike wall up and running. Come on, lay the pikes down. There it goes. He's getting broken back. Didn't lose too many. Let's go ahead and rush down here and try to knock these guys out. They're already shaking. Killed only about 15. That should break them. back. These guys are shattered. That's okay because that's the way they're going on us. Let's fast forward a little bit. There he is broken. Broken again. Yep, they're just coming forward to get shot down. Fall back a little bit. I don't want to get these guys ran. Got shattered. They got broken. You can go back now. There you go. These guys are firing openly at these. Let them wear them down. That's fine. Kill their general. Shattered, broken, exhausted, though. I don't think he'll come back. He's at 96 and shaken. Get ready. We're going to hit these guys on the side. Shatters them. went way better than I could have ever done, I think, or could have ever expected. 
these men out over here. We're not going to let them be able to use that wall to their own there. There we go. Bring them on. Bring up this general. Oh, he's moving up. Get these guys in the better spots. There you go, Farlocked Arm, you got Broke. There we go, just smashed right into him. Shattered him. Victory was held, there we go. We should have just taken the Crimea. There we go, nice. Um, That's a military governor's encampment though. That's not bad. Um. Open it up. Let's go ahead and say Great Britain. Resting trade with you. Maratha. Resting trade with you. So that's some good trade right there for us. Um, I don't, really don't like that. There you go. We'll slowly put in a better army here. Um... We can try to make peace with the Ottomans. Let's see if we can do that now that their friend's gone. That's okay. We probably will hold out long enough. Got a group of five there anyway. Um, We'll go ahead and start that up. That's not bad. Let's go ahead and end the turn. Let's see what happens in the next one. I'd rather go back to being friends with the Ottomans. I don't want to rush through them or anything. Oh my gosh, really, Austria? If we don't give you Silesia, you know... That's the thing. I wish it would let me see how much it's worth. Counter offer. Silesia's worth 1300 to me right now. Give me Silesia for Austria. <laughs> um, how about Silesia? How much is Transylvania worth to you right now? 1432? I mean, that would allow me to let myself be a little more east centric. Well, you gotta reject the offer. You gotta reject the offer. I can't do nothing about that. Could let me just let me have Transylvania and it wouldn't be a problem. Oh, now I know, own a Black Sea trade port. Oh, so that now means I gotta see every warship going through the Black Sea or right, through the Mediterranean. Ah, oh. that's okay. Just means longer in between turns. The ruling classes have written a letter of demands to your national leader as they are unhappy with the current government. 
failure to comply will lead to an organized rebellion against you. Acquiescence at this stage could lead to further demands. Where exactly will you draw the line? Already exempting them from tax. We have nothing here to change them over except for him. Which it's going by 3.5% with Catholicism. That's good. Hmm. Fifty-six forty-four. Let's go and get these royal observatories up and running. That's important just for the the gentlemen that might pop out, and I can throw them here in that school. Next time, I'll probably pop this up to a college too, just so I can start getting more research. Yeah, it's like four research points per turn more. More tech rate. I might be able to go ahead and hit down here for utilitarianism and government by consent and all that. Okay. All right, guys, I'm going to end this one right here. appreciate y'all so much for watching, though. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Maybe let me know what you guys think about the new series. And maybe check out Discord. I will see you all next time.